computer art tutorial for our class and what we're going to be doing on this lesson is going over how to manipulate colors in Photoshop and create a color wheel that uh, replicates an image going in a circular form. Um, and so the steps are laid out here on our e-backpack assignment but I'm going to go ahead and cross over into Photoshop here and start project my own. Now we're going to use 12 colors. I know there's only six in this particular example so um, what we're going to do is go ahead and start a new document. We want to make this document 10 by 10 inches, resolution of 72, and we want to have the background contents as white. All right, first thing to do really to make this setup is we're going to draw a circle. So using our circle tool, and we're going to click and drag this circle while holding the shift key in order to keep it proportional. I want it to be pretty much centered and not too close to the edges of our square here. Alright, so now what we need to do is choose an image to actually put around the circle. The circle will be deleted later. So I've already done a quick Google search for some crystal images. I think I found one that I like here. I'm going to copy it, go back over to Photoshop, and I'm going to paste it in. And it is very big, so I'm going to hold shift and click and drag on the corners in order to reduce the size. And what I'm going to want to do first is remove the white contents of this background here. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller still. And once we have it in place here, where it seems like we could fit, think about fitting six on half of a circle. That's all we really need to do is fit six on a half. Um, and so that size should work. We can always manipulate the size again later. We want to apply this transformation. And now with this layer selected and my magic wand, I'm going to click on the white contents here and then hit delete. And then uh, to deselect, we're gonna hit Command D. All right, so now I am left with just this crystal. It seems like it's about the right size. What I want to do is rotate it just a bit and move it just to the right of the, kind of that center line right there. Um, we'll apply the transformation again. And now to quickly kind of copy this image over, we can just hold the Alt key down. See how your cursor changes a little bit there? We hold the Alt key down, click and drag this image in order to copy it. Nice little quick way to copy something. All right, so remember, we're trying to get six around a half, so if three fit into this kind of quarter here, we are good. You can hit Enter to apply a transformation. I'm going to click and hold Option to drag and copy that again. All right, press Enter to keep the transformation. Hold the Option key, click and drag. And now, I'm just kind of going along the bottom side of the curve here. Let's see. That seems pretty good. Um, hit Enter to keep the transformation. Hold Option, click, and drag. And now we are almost there. Enter keeps the transformation. Holding Option key, clicking and dragging. Now it looks like I've got six pretty evenly spaced. Gonna rotate this one. Um, maybe select and nudge these just by using my keyboard to maybe get them in a little bit better positioning so that they go in a good circle here. <clears throat> uh, pressing enter will apply transformations if you're rotating. All right, that seems okay. I think this needs to rotate just a tad more. Move it up just a bit. All right, and we'll say apply. So again, once you've got six arranged in kind of a half circle, you are good to go. Um, what I'm gonna do is just click on this top one. Holding the shift key allows me to select multiple images as I go around and it's not letting me get that last one. I think it's just too close to this box here. Um, Let's 
try and start from the bottom edge. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Now we got them all. So again, now we can just do that option, hold the option key, click and drag to copy that whole half of the circle. Now while these are all still selected, what we want to do is just go ahead and rotate them all as one. Okay, and now I'm just going to click around one of my images and slide these into place. There we go. And lastly, apply that transformation. So at this point, we could remove our circle as our circle is really just helping us to um, space out all of our images equally. Okay, um, I do notice there's a little more space on the top than the bottom. If I want, I can click and drag with my move tool, click and drag from the outside to select all of them. And now I'm just nudging with my keyboard arrow keys until I have it in the right place. All right, now what we want to do is go ahead in and we're going to uh, manipulate the colors here. So starting at the top area, we want to go to our image adjustments menu and go to hue and saturation. Now, in order to get really bright, intense colors, you may want to hit the colorize box, which will at first kind of adjust your saturation slider lower, but we can turn that up higher so that the saturation is um, better and makes your color more vibrant. And then here are hue sliders where we're going to really get the color changes. All right, so I kind of like starting with the reds, and then we could just slide right down the color spectrum here. So starting with the reds, moving to orange, yellows, yellow greens, blues, and purples, and so on. So again, uh, now I'm going over here, again to image adjustments, hue and saturation. Um, we can hit colorize again, move the saturation back up. Colorize is especially important option if you have um, an image that doesn't actually have a lot of color to it. So I want more of a red-orange here. Once I have that, I'll say OK. This next one will be a lighter orange. So I'm going to move this more into the yellow-orange area, slide the saturation back up. And again, we want more of a yellow-orange there. There we go. All right. So um, next color we want is going to really be a yellow, yellow, and uh, so on and so forth. So really, that pretty much gives you the gist of the assignment. The only other thing that I would like you to add is at the end to add in either some kind of a background image or to add some kind of an image in the center of your color wheel to kind of complete it and tie everything together. So I'll do one more spot here. I think now we're red, red, orange, yellow, orange, um, yellow. I think now we should be to kind of like this greenish, like a yellowish green color. Again, the colorize option really does help uh, to keep these as one solid color. So make sure you do check that box. All right, so yellow green, we'll say OK. And then this next one will do be the last one. And then I think that we'll have gotten the pattern of it from here. So again, this should be more of a green green. And then that works. And my next one would be a blue green. And then try and extend and make them connect all the way back around. All right, so I wish you lots of luck. Be creative. Have fun.